I know you, you addressed this before and you always get asked this question, but well, why, why have you devoted your life to the Afghan people? Well, they're in trouble and I think I can contribute something. So I would like to, but more than that, they've given me, they gave Louis and me, and they continue to give me um, a, a great deal. And I think I owe them. Uh, because you saw the way they, uh, these people that I never met before, but they have a way of reacting to people that they think are sympathetic. Do you ever get concerned about suicide bombs or not? Or do you, oh, I, there's no point in being concerned. I, 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 I feel like the Afghan. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Whether it happens in the middle of a street in New York City, whether I'm mugged in New York City, or whether I'm I, I, uh, the victim of suicide, what difference does it make? So why get panicked about it? I just, I just don't know. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You're right. You're right. Absolutely. You're right. Absolutely right. Absolutely. And when people ask, when you tell people that you're in Peshawar and how dangerous it's there, and what do you what do you say to them? The same so, thing. I, I I I think all this panicking about one's personal safety is very egotistical, and you can you can waste so much time and energy and you you don't think coherently if you're thinking all the time oh if i go there I, you just use your sense and you don't go into crowded areas at certain times and you it's just normal you, you just don't think about going there There's always that crazy that could be out there who would take a pot child. But, you know, I can't live my life. I can't slow down because maybe I would be the victim of a suicide. What good is that?